Organizing content is one of the easiest ways to speed up the editing process. Being able to find that one specific shot that you need to make this edit perfect can be done using keywords. Now, this is just one example of a way to organize your content, and there are many ways to use keywords. But let me show you a couple tips, and then you can start to use these to find your own way to organize your content, the way you think works best for you. Now, the first thing I'd recommend when organizing is to go up to the top right of the Final Cut Pro interface and hide the inspector and the timeline. This is going to give you much more space on the screen for you to edit and organize your content. You can also adjust in the middle here the space in between the viewer, which is on the right side, and all of your clips on the left side. Now this Final Cut Pro library that I have is just called Stock, and I have one event called Unsorted. It's a mess. And it's all of these random stock shots that I've used for other videos over the past few months. So let me show you how I have things organized. First, you'll notice on the top of a lot of these clips, especially on these ones of Colby Cat, you can see this nice blue line going across the clips. That blue line indicates that there's been a keyword applied to that clip. And on the left column, I can see under my event, if I hit the little disclosure triangle, here's a list of all of those different keywords. So if I wanted to, I could quickly go and see all of the shots of Colby just by clicking on the Colby keyword. And it brings up any of the clips. You can see both a bunch of still images are here and some screenshots where I've uh, actually used those stickers in, uh, as an example, just in the, in the app and being used. So that's a way you can quickly go and find content that has keywords applied to it. Now, how do you actually apply those keywords? Well, there's a couple different ways, but the easiest way to do it is going to be with the keyword editor, which you can access by hitting this key icon at the top left of Final Cut Pro, or just press Command K. And now with a clip selected, I'm going to select one of these Colby Cat pictures, I can see that two keywords have been applied, the cat keyword and the Colby keyword. If I wanted to add a third keyword, since this is the heart eyes Colby, I can just type in hearts, and then press return. And now you'll notice on the left column in my keywords, we now have a heart keyword option. So I can click on that and see all of the heart keywords, which in this case is just that one picture. You can also apply keywords using shortcuts. Just hit the triangle next to keyword, keyword shortcuts, and you'll see a list of the keywords that have a shortcut applied to them. Right now, I don't have any. I just have the waterfall and the heart. Great. So one that I'm going to use a lot is going to be outdoor. An outdoor shot and an indoor shot. Oop, let me make sure I'm on the right thing there. There we go. Indoor. Okay. So now when I click on a clip, say the hiking multicam clip, which is outside, I can use Control-3 to apply the outdoor keyword. And I can do the same thing with a selection of clips. So I'm just clicking, holding shift, clicking the last clip, and I'm going to do control three to apply that shortcut. Uh, I can see down here, these couple of food, all of these are going to be outside on the barbecue. So I'm going to select all those clips, click, hold shift, click again, and control three to apply the outdoor keyword. Uh, this one is outdoor, so same thing, control three. This one's outdoor, control three. And I'm just clicking on the clip to select it and then control three to apply that outdoor keyword. Uh, here we have one that's indoor, so I'm gonna use control four to apply the indoor keyword. These three are outdoor, so click, shift, click to select them all and do control three to apply the outdoor keyword. So you can see very easy to apply keywords to a clip. Now you can also apply a keyword to just a selection of a clip. So let me zoom in. I'm going to change my timing here to say 30 seconds. That way we can see these longer clips. And in this case, I have a bunch of uh, recorded video games when I was playing a, an iPhone game. Uh, this one is Clash Royale. So we can see different things happening on the right side in the viewer of this game. There's a bunch of people fighting back and forth, little characters uh, back and forth. Now, 
in the top right corner, all the way in the right side here, you're going to be able to see the time of this game. And right here at the end, it goes into overtime. So I'm actually going to hit the I key right when the time left is at zero and let this all go to the end of the clip. And I'm going to apply the keyword overtime. And then hit return to apply that keyword. Now, if I just click on the overtime keyword, we'll see just that little portion of overtime for that one clip is displayed. So think about it. Keywords can be applied either to an entire clip or to portions of a clip. And then when you need to, you can go and search for those keywords. Now, as the final tip for this video, you can go back once you've applied these keywords and go up to File, New, Smart Collection. And you can use a smart collection to combine keywords together. So if I double click on the smart collection, we can see the search options here. So I can hit the plus and go down to keywords and I can see a selection of all my keywords here. So I'm going to actually click this little button on the right and say uncheck all. And I'm going to create a collection just for our flash and Colby stickers. So I'm going to click on flash and I'm going to click on Colby. And I say up in the top left here, we, we match all of those. So now I have a keyword collection showing me all of the Colby stickers and the flash stickers. And I'm going to double click down here, sorry, single click, wait for a second and then click again. I'm going to rename this flash and Colby. So when you're organizing content, there's a lot of ways to do it, but this is how you can use keywords to go ahead and mark specific spots of the clips and find your content. And I hope this makes it a little bit easier for you. If there's something that you're struggling with inside of Final Cut Pro 10, leave a comment and let me know. Have a great day, everyone. See you tomorrow.